What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Now that I got you guys' attention, we about to focus on Georgia Department of Safety from their Facebook group. Actually, I caught wind of the video. Somebody did a somebody did a video on this on TikTok. And uh I caught wind of it and shout out to my man D Nitty for bringing this to my attention. So let's uh let's get into it. My I want to start by no more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I want to start by saying why are you guys jeopardizing your CDLs? Why? What is the point? What in the, in the actual beginning, what is the point of you actually getting your CDL? Like if you're not going to stop doing your 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 habits before you get into the industry, then you don't need to get into the industry. If you're going to continue to to do bad habits that you were doing prior to getting into the industry, then there's no reason for you to waste the time, waste the money, and waste your CDL. Stay out of it. Go work at McDonald's. Go work at a factory job where they where drug testing is not mandatory. I mean, it is when you first get there. Drug testing is not as as a big of a deal as it is in the industry, man. Go work there. You don't need to you you don't need to to drive an 18 wheeler. You don't need to put other people's lives at stake. I just I, I just got finished doing a video where a young man well allegedly because they still don't know if drugs played a part of of the actual accident. They said that distractive driving, but I mean, it still could be considered drug related, I guess. But he did admit that he smoked a whole pot of marijuana before he started his shift. But still, though, here, right here in Georgia, in Georgia, the Georgia Department of Public Safety, their post on Facebook says recently, MC. O2 Mitchell stopped a tractor trailer traveling in the improper lane in Atlanta. During the inspection, a bag containing MD, AD, don't know what that is, marijuana, and crack was discovered. A passenger in the CMV was also found to have a warrant for child abuse. Both of them got arrested. But look, look, look at what else is on that hood. We got, we got marijuana. We got cigarettes. We got a couple of bottles of, of, of beer, crack, crack cocaine pipe, somebody's wallet, and other stuff that's on that, um, that's on that, who did the car, man? That's that's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, listen. If you're gonna do some ill stuff, and if you're gonna have some illegal stuff in your ride, semi car, or whatever, wouldn't it be the best idea? Would be to do the actual traffic laws. If the speed limit is 45, you do 45. You make sure all your lights, all your, your license plates, all your tires, all that is on point. And you drive like you're supposed to drive so that you won't get pulled over. But dude, you're, you're driving in the, you, you probably might have been driving in the hammer lane for far too long in Atlanta. On probably I two seventy five, or what, or I two eighty five, or whatever, it doesn't matter which which one you was in. You probably parked at the petrol for that night. You probably got your got your uh, 
you know, got your jollies off over at the Blue Flame, hooked up with your weed man and your crack man and whoever other man at the, you know, while you were still at the Petro, before you decide to pull off, you went across the street over to the liquor store and got you and, and got you some beer. So you and him probably must have zooted up that morning and all like that. Y'all forgot, y'all, y'all forgot to do a pre-trip, you know, didn't do a pre-trip or nothing like that. So you, the guys decide to get on the highway. I guess you try to get over instead of getting back over from the fast lane. You stayed in there maybe a minute too long and the police pulled you over. And that's what they did. You might have, you, you must have got out of the truck. You know, looking kind of starry-eyed, of course. And then when you got out of the truck, they... You know, they they rang you. They got probable cause, right? Because you're looking, you know, you're not looking your best, probably talking slurred. So that gave them pause to go inside the truck to do the, to uh, search the truck and found all of this. Now, your passenger, on the other hand, I don't know what was his problem. I mean, dude, if you had a warrant for your arrest you, and, and, and you thinking you driving with this dude. I mean, I would have think if you did have a warrant for your arrest, you would probably be the one to be like, hey, bro, drive like you got some sense, man. I, I don't want to go to jail in Atlanta. But I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> let me know you guys thoughts in the, in the comments below. Let, let me know. <laughs> what is the point of, of, of these people now getting their CDLs if they don't want to turn their life around? Am I wrong? I mean, if, it, if you're going to continue to do the damn thing as, you know, as a, a, you know, as a relaxation or something like that, then why do you need to get into the industry? Thinking of a master plan. This ain't nothing but sweat inside my hand So I dig into my pocket, all my money spent Dig deeper, still coming up with lens So I start my mission, leave my residence Thinking how could I get some dead presidents I need money, I used to be a stick-up kid So I think of all the devious things I did Used to roll up, this is a hold up Nothing funny, stop smiling, we still